This is Twit. Apple is apparently in early talks, again from the information, to buy Sunday games mm. from the NFL. Oh Talk about the balkanization of content. It was very confusing. Mm -hmm. I, on Thursday, Thursday Night Football, I had to figure out, wait, where is it? It's on Amazon? <laughs> so I'm going to have to resubscribe to Apple TV Plus to watch to football. Watch football uh, on, a Sunday, on a Sunday night. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. This is... These are conversations that went on this week at Allen and Company. Uh, the conference right. is back on in Sun Valley. Are you, did you go? Did you have your private jet? I had to. I had to miss it this year because uh, yeah, we were doing maintenance on the jet. But yeah. uh, uh, so, so my my question on this would be: Would they be buying it and then still charging like the three hundred and fifty dollars or whatever mm -hmm. as an in-app purchase, or would this be as a thing for them to try to get people into you know Pink. Apple TV Plus? I don't know. That's a good question. DirecTV, according to the information, pays one and a half billion dollars a year for the Sunday ticket package. Oh. Yep. One and a half billion. It's just, it's not even all the games on a Sunday night. Nope. Uh, uh, wow, the NFL really is a money machine. It's amazing. Actually, during COVID, I was really glad that there were football games to watch. Uh, it, what I'd be curious about too would would they get you around the geo restriction, right? Like, are they going to force uh, you? If it's a local market game, yeah. you still can't watch. Because I would I would imagine that they that they would, right? But I don't well, know if you could use like VPNs or other stuff. Apple TV is going to start charging now. They've cut down their 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 uh, trial period to three months. Um, I'm gonna. St I've been getting a four ninety nine a month refund from Apple TV <laughs> for uh, months, but I think that's going to stop uh, soon. It's really on the edge of like, yeah. uh, is it? Are you gonna? Is it okay now? Ted Lasso uh, season two Ted comes Lasso's out great. this next week. Ted Lasso's yeah. great. Mythic Quest is great. They've got a lot of good shows. Yeah. Is Mythic Quest great? <laughs> they do. Really? You want to? I, wanna I go really that like far? it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I like the last the 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 uh, instant episode they made. The COVID episode was great, which mm -hmm. was yeah. Mythic Quest is really good. Really, um, I yes, thought it was last, terrible. I, okay. Oh, I'm a huge Always Sunny fan, so yeah. that's my bias. Oh, it's from the Always Sunny so, in Philadelphia yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. I also I yeah. hate that show, and I love Mythic West. So yeah. you know, for all it, mankind. Okay, yeah. people say it's uh, like season Morning two. Show apparently, is incredible. Morning yeah. show was terrible. Yeah. You guys, I oh, I thought like it was yeah. great. Oh, I really God. liked it. It was awful. But it's a, it is weird how it's a whole streaming service where it's like one or two things. That's all they've got going. That's they the got no catalog. It is one or two right. things. Yeah. They have zero catalog. They have no catalog. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. which, which I mean, was why they were the original rumored buyer of MGM, and it made sense. Yeah. Um, it's also why they've been a rumored buyer of, of Sony's back catalog, but Sony has decided they didn't want to sell. Um, but yeah, I, I mm -hmm. mean, look, at this point, I get it for free as part of my <laughs> Apple iCloud Plus whatever subscription. Yeah, I buy yeah. the whole like, schlamazel, yeah. schlamazel. So... I get it through my through my phone thanks to our breaking you know net neutrality rules. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's all exactly exactly uh, it's the, all great. They yeah. are um, uh, what else is happening to Apple TV Plus? They are getting foundation. People are very is that foundation? That, yeah, yeah. The trailers look good. People it doesn't look like excited. foundation, but the trailers look good. You know, I thought that too. I thought it looks yeah. more like Star Wars than Foundation. Then somebody said, Which, "Well, Star Wars was inspired by yeah. Foundation, so elements of it are basically Star Wars." Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the problem is, people know Star Wars. They don't, except for sci-fi. We'll see. I don't. Uh, I believe David Goyer is behind this one, and yeah. that guy. It's I'm just always iffy. Jared, he's on Jared Harris as uh, Harry Seldon. Great casting. <laughs> Great casting. What did who did what is this Goyer guy? What did he do? I mean, he's he's the guy who basically started doing comic book movies. So like oh. what uh, the Blade movies, which you know hit or miss. But then th there's been like a lot of messy stuff throughout the 2000s with him. And yeah, not a fan. Okay, uh, okay. Mm -hmm.